There was a point in my life where I would set big goals and not check in on them. I would keep them top of mind, but only assess my progress once the goal time frame, which was typically a year, ended. Not anymore. Now I make it a point to assess my goal progress along the way. This helps me course correct, make changes, or keep doing what's working. At the end of 2023, I shared my personal and business goals for 2024, and now that we are over the halfway mark of 2024, so crazy, I want to share my progress. In this episode, I'm doing a mid-year personal and business goals check-in. I'm sharing my goal progress with you in the hopes that you are encouraged to do your own progress check. So if you want to hear the episode from the end of last year where I actually shared my goals and aspirations for 2024, I'll make sure to link to it in the show notes. It's episode 105. Okay, let's get into the progress towards my personal and business goals for 2024. I'm going to follow the same format from when I shared the original goals. So I will start with my personal goals first, and then we'll talk about business goals. So the first personal goal that I set for myself in 2024 was to walk 10,000 steps a day, Monday through Friday. I already work out five times per week, so I didn't need to set that goal and incorporate a high fiber diet and cook at least once a week and make enough for me to have leftovers. So my progress for this goal is that I am on track Outside of traveling, I always hit my 10K steps Monday through Friday. I um, do my morning workout, then I actually go walk at a park in the morning, and then throughout the day, I just make sure to get any leftover steps um, in before the day ends. So that I am definitely on track with. Even on vacation sometimes, you know, when you are on vacation, you're active, you're doing things. So I usually hit Uh, 10,000 steps a day on vacation, but not always. But when I am home and in my normal routine, Monday through Friday, that goal is definitely on track. Now, I also make sure that I get 28 grams or more of fiber a day. I can't remember if I shared this before, but at the um, last quarter of 2023, I went to see a gastroenterologist and She basically told me that I likely wasn't getting enough fiber in the day. And after she kind of explained everything and I tracked my uh, food intake, I realized I was getting nowhere close to the amount of fiber I needed. Like most people, fiber is actually harder than you would imagine to get. Um, You definitely have to be intentional, or at least I do. Um, So now I make it a point to get my 28 grams or more of fiber a day. Um, I will say that it is harder for me to do this on the weekends, but I really do try my best. I have um, some like quick, easy go-to recipes that have high fiber counts. So I try to make sure I eat those during the week and then on the weekends as well. Now I have been cooking one to two times a week. Um, Sometimes my boyfriend will cook once and I'll cook once, but usually I cook one to two times per week and I make enough leftovers so that I don't have to overextend myself. I am getting used to cooking more, um, but it's still not my favorite. I would much rather go out to eat, uh, but I am being intentional. I am doing my part to stick to this goal, and it's been working so far. Having leftovers and you know having them for lunch the next day or the next couple of days is definitely very handy. Helps me stay on track with my high fiber diet and just feel better with my diet overall. One of my favorite recipes has been this Ital- ground Italian sausage, spinach, tomatoes, and a whole wheat angel hair pasta. So good. I'm going to link to it in the show notes in case you want to give it a try. The next personal goal I set for 2024 was to max out my Roth IRA, which in 2024, that amounts to $7,000. So we are a little more than halfway through the year and I've only contributed 2000 to my Roth IRA. So I am technically off track, right? Right now I should be around 3500. Um, I went back to look at this goal last year and I noticed that I was also off track by this time last year. I think it's because 
for me, the first half of the year, I'm really focused on keeping cash in my personal accounts and my business accounts and just really getting a feel for how the year is going to go before I take large amounts of money and put them places. Um, I am very confident that I will reach this goal before the year ends, or at least by the time the year ends. Maxing out my Roth IRA is really my only form of retirement savings at this point, so it's a high priority for me. Although I'm off track, I have very little doubt that I won't reach this goal. So I will continue um, contributing what I can between now and the end of the year. And if that means I have to do some sort of large lump sum uh, before the deadline, I will make sure to get that done. So slightly off track with contributing to my IRA, but I am confident that I will get on track before the deadline. Another personal goal I had for 2024 was to start therapy by Q2 2024. So basically, I gave myself um, all of Q1, so January, February, March, to find a therapist and get started with therapy. I'm very proud to say I reached this goal, but I literally waited until the last day of Q1 2024, so March 31st, to solidify a therapist. It it's surprising to me that this particular goal I was really putting off. Like I just, I, I mean, I know what therapy means. I've been in therapy multiple times and it means that you have to reflect and talk about things that are difficult and face things that are difficult. And I think at the start of the year, I was like, okay, I'm not going to deal with this in January. I'm not going to deal with this in February. And then when March came, I had no choice but to deal with it because I gave myself a deadline and I keep promises to myself. So waited to the last minute, but I made it. I hit the deadline. I found a therapist and I actually had my first session in the first week of April. And now I meet with my therapist three to four times a month, um, just depending on if I'm traveling or she's traveling. And it has been wonderful. I'm so blessed that my marketplace insurance covers as many sessions as I need. And I wish I didn't wait until the end of March to really get started. I feel like I would have benefited from therapy a little bit earlier, but I'm not going to beat myself up for that. Um, I am just proud of myself that I'm in therapy and actively seeing my therapist and I can officially count this goal as achieved. The next goal I set for my personal self for 2024 is to practice French once a week. I'm pretty much on track with this goal. I will admit there have been a few scattered weeks um, within this year where I missed my practice for the week. Um, those weeks were usually when I was traveling and or when City Girl Savings was really busy. So City Girl Savings was really busy in January and even um, part of March. So there were a few scattered weeks where I just really didn't have the capacity to focus on practicing French. Um, but I would say so far about 85% of the time I am on track with this goal. Um, it really is just a personal goal of mine to learn the French language. I don't know that I necessarily want to be extremely fluent in it, but this is something I want to see through. I think the language is beautiful and I love um, learning something that, you know, I've never been able to learn before. I don't speak multiple languages, um, so it would be nice to be able to. Um, so I would say for the most part, I'm pretty on track with this goal. The next goal I set for myself for 2024 was to plan and take an international vacation. So I have actually started the initial planning process, which is fun. I love planning trips and figuring out where to go and what to do and all of that. So it's an exciting time for me. I know our next trip will be to France, and that is just a coincidence. I'm not learning French just to go to France. I, I really want to go to France. And I've narrowed down the cities that I want to go to when we are there. But that's kind of the extent of it so far. Nothing is booked. No dates are set in stone. I am thinking we're probably going to take this trip in 2025. So that kind of puts me a little off track with this goal. But that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. But, um, 
yeah, I've started the planning process and more than likely will be going next year. And the final goal I set for myself for 2024 was to pay off my car. Uh, when I started the year, I had 0% interest and um, I was really very close to paying the loan off. It was a five-year loan and I was three and a half years in. But I'm proud to say I am done. I reached that goal. I've actually shared this accomplishment on the podcast, episode 121. I'll link to it in the show notes if you want to hear more about how I did it and the car buying process for me throughout the course of my life. But um, I actually reached this goal in January of this year. So this was the first goal I just knocked out. I really wanted that car payment money back in my budget as quickly as possible. So I just put all of my effort into paying the car off and I got it done. So now let's transition to the business goals I've set for 2024. There were four goals specifically that I wanted to make sure myself and other members of the City Girl Savings Team focused on. So the first one is to have 65,000 podcast episode downloads. So this would actually be an increase of about 1250 more downloads per month. So 1,250 compared to last year's goal. Our progress towards this goal is that we are off track. Unfortunately, Apple has changed some of their download settings, which has dropped download counts for podcasts across the board, not just mine. But at this point, we're actually trending lower in downloads than we were this time last year. So if you are listening to this podcast, uh, thank you so much. You are helping us get closer and closer to this goal. We will definitely keep pushing podcast episodes across the City Girl Savings community just to help spread the word. But if you have a friend or family member that would benefit from listening to this podcast, please, please, please share it with them. It could help us reach one of our big goals for 2024. The next big goal we have for the business in 2024 is to have 7,500 Facebook group members. So this is actually uh, the exact same goal that we set last year. We didn't hit the goal last year, but we are very, very close in 2024. We currently have 7,400 group members at the time of this recording. So about halfway through the year and we have 600 more people to go to reach our goal of 7,500 members. We're actually getting ready to promote the Summer Savings Challenge soon. By the time you're listening to this episode, the Summer Savings Challenge will have already kicked off, but usually that challenge really results in a big influx of people coming into the City Girl Savings community and joining the group. So I'm confident that we'll definitely reach this goal before the year ends, and if not, um, really by the time the Summer Savings Challenge kicks off. The next business goal we have for 2024 is to have 10,000 newsletter subscribers. So this is also a goal that we had set last year and didn't hit. We're actually on track this year to hit 10,000 subscribers, or at least we're on track to be very, very close. Um, We are closer than we've ever been before to reaching that number. So I'm confident by the end of this year we'll either hit the number or be really, really close to hitting it so that in 2025, we actually reach this goal. If you are not on the newsletter yet, we consistently send out money tips, new podcast episodes, new blog articles, promotions, and so much more. Also, our newsletter subscribers are usually the first to hear about specials and challenges and events before anyone else. So if you're not on our newsletter, please get on. I'll make sure to link to it in the show notes so you can subscribe. Um, But overall, we are definitely trending higher in this goal than we were this time last year. And I'm very confident that we'll be very, very close to hitting this goal, if not exceeding it. The final business goal for 2024 is to increase our revenue by 50%. So Once again, on trend, this is a goal that we had set last year. We did not hit this goal last year. In fact, we actually lost um, revenue um, compared to the year before. So it was actually our first um, income year where we did not grow 
financially. So that was an experience. Uh, you, If you have been listening to this podcast or in the City Girl Savings community a while, you probably know where part of that came from, you know, my mom being sick and everything. But um, so 2024, we have, you know, a different focus. We want to get back to where we were growing revenue wise. We have not doubled our revenue since this time last year, but we are seeing about a 20% increase in revenue compared to this time last year. So that's definitely very promising. And since we're only halfway through the year, there is definitely opportunity for us to continue to increase this number. So very happy with where we're at. Not quite on track. Um, 50% is really a big goal, but um, the fact that we are seeing a 20% increase is definitely promising. So I'm excited about that. All right. Well, that is the mid-year check-in for my personal and business goals for 2024. I think with 2023 being the year it was, I made sure that this year there was a bigger focus on mental health goals for my personal life and just less goals in general for the business. I definitely feel better with this overall approach and it just tells me that that's probably exactly what I needed. As you can tell, I'm on track for some goals, exceeding the target for others and falling behind on some. I think this is just the way things go. Um, nothing will be 100% perfect, Nothing will go 100% according to plan, but that doesn't mean you don't stop working towards the things you want. What won't stop for me is my continued push on mental well-being, working hard when I can, and just appreciating the journey along the way. So before I let you go, I hope that I have encouraged you to do your own mid-year goals check-in and Did you know that I create budget plans for clients and offer one-on-one money coaching? If you have some money goals that you'd like to crush before the year ends, I coach my clients through the habits, routines, and mindset they need to set a budget and stick to it. You can learn more by checking out citygirlsavings.com and clicking the financial coaching page under Work with Rhea. I will also link to it in the show notes, but here's to us reaching our 2024 goals.